guys, thanks for coming out tonight. Um, I was proud of our players. The, uh, the defense was much better tonight. Uh, we, we did a better job taking care of the ball. And, and I was really proud of Keontae Kennedy. You know, he's been working so hard to get through that injury. He's been diligent. He was, he was cleared ahead of time by the surgeon. And I think a lot of that has to do with our training staff. A lot of that has to do with Keontae's, uh, just the way he works. Um, and he, the way he has worked in trying to overcome that injury. But um, I, I was really proud of everybody, the guys that played, the guys that didn't play, the energy on the bench. And um, hopefully we can continue to play this way and build on it. Ke Keontae brings a bona fide, proven defensive presence where, <clears throat> you know, my high school coach used to talk about trying to be your opponent's worst nightmare. And when, when Keontae Kennedy is locked in defensively, which he is all the time, um, he really bothers uh, the opponent out there a lot. He's got great lateral movement. He has quick hands. He's a phenomenal rebounder. And, uh, you know, he, he, he didn't have a normal shooting night tonight, but he, he's a great shooter as well. Oh, 100%. 100%. I mean, we, we talked about it as a staff. He came back from, from the doctor on Thursday, and they said, look, He's cleared, but he's got to have several practices of contact. He came in Thursday, so focused, so determined. He had a great practice, and we knew right there he was going to be in the starting lineup. Energy is, is such a huge part of sports. Phil Jackson used to always talk about how important it is to, to always play with energy. And I, I really felt that Keontae Kennedy's energy was, it uplifted the team, it impacted the team, and it helped us get this win tonight. I was proud of Jalen Tyson. You know, Jalen Tyson's the guy who can, he can score it at a high level, he can pass it at a high level, he can see over the defense. Um, he did a really nice job, especially in that last stretch of the game with some passes, some decision making, and that was great to see. Fardos, I can't say enough about Fardos. Um, it doesn't always show up in the stat sheet, but he just controlled that pain. He controlled the middle against a very physical Santa Clara team. Well, when we see that, we, we try to put the ball in his hands more. When, when any player, and, and tonight it was Jalen Tyson, and, we, and we've seen that look before from Jalen Tyson, where it's a look of focus, determination, and, and a look of, I am going to impose my will. We, we definitely try to find ways to put the ball in his hands, because not only is he a great scorer, but he's a very, very good passer. And he really takes pride, um, Jalen Tyson, in making his teammates better. Jalen has great size, he has great physicality, but he also has a huge heart. And so he can get into that lane and, and elevate over people with his size and his length and his competitiveness and, and put some of those shots in. In, in, the, uh, in the Big 12 last year, there was a time when, when he was one of the top rebounders in the conference at any position from a defensive rebounding standpoint. And so, you know, he, he plays with great physicality out there. Um, Grant Newell, I thought, had just a a game-changing play where there was a loose ball on the floor and Grant Newell just dove on the ball, corralled it, and off to look at the film, he either flipped it to one of our players or they, or they called a foul um, and they awarded us the ball. I'll have to go back and look, but, um, but, but that was a game-changing play of momentum from Grant Newell. Um, those hustle plays were huge. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. I, I thought that, um, you know, Jalen Cohn is someone who's always in the gym. He's always watching film. And, and, and his, I thought his shot selection tonight was A. Plus. It was just A. Plus. And, and he's a guy who can change a game with his ability to stretch the floor and with his ability to knock down shots. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> we've, we've been emphasizing this. And, 
you know if if you look at the san diego state overtime game we had fourteen before that we were kind of averaging nineteen turnovers and so we really challenged the guys last week hey let's get our turnovers down we saw growth from kind of those three prior games to san diego state it came down and then we took another step tonight that's going to be a huge key for us this year is being able to take care of the basketball we had only one turnover in the first half and so i was really happy about that No, I, I've never, never been there, never played in a game there. Um, obviously, we're familiar with their team. We've studied film. Um, they have tremendous physicality. They, they have some perimeter players that are 240 pounds that can shoot and make threes. Um, it's, it's impressive, the job that they've done. Uh, number one, it's impressive how they play from an X's and O's standpoint. And then number two, their personnel is, is physical. Their personnel is... Uh, He's very talented, and so this is going to be a battle, and, and we've got a full week to prepare. And so, that, that, that's a question for this man right here. Yeah, I, I, I think they play in a field house named Hinkle, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah I, I think they do. Um, I'm not. That, that's a question I'm not sure on. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we'll kind of, the, the rotation and, and who plays, it always works itself out. It always works itself out. And what we tell our players is, when your name is called, be ready. And, you know, unfortunately, we've had some injuries and guys have stepped up. Guys have, have grown. Guys have gotten better. And there's been opportunity for players to improve their own personal game. And so this is only going to help us. Obviously, some guys were thrust into roles that, you know, maybe in the summer we weren't anticipating. But all that experience is, is going to help us in the long term. Yeah, no, I, yeah, no, Rodney had a stretch in the first half where he was getting every loose ball. He was finishing at the other end. Um, Rodney Brown has a tremendous feel for the game. He can shoot it. He, he's a great passer, and he has the length to go in there and finish over, over bigger opponents. So, hey guys, yeah, guys, thanks so much for coming out. Appreciate you guys.